you know, ProTrek Smart and Busting. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 2019 GoPro Mountain Games, day number four, Mickey Wilson. You probably know this gentleman from a multitude of accolades over the years. I'm just gonna say that. Probably the, probably ski, the one that people... ski lift rescue. That thing, <laughs> that thing was my my five minutes of, of, of super fame. Let's 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 get let's get on that real quick. Sure. That's a pretty big deal. Tell us about it. Well, uh, yeah, um, I love skiing. I grew up skiing. I'm, I'm born in Vail. Grew up in Durango, and uh, I was a ski instructor one year at A Basin. And the something happened. A friend of mine got his backpack strap caught, caught in the chairlift, and then the chairlift went around the bull wheel up top, and then his his chest strap wrapped around his neck and pulled him around and back down the hill up into the air and so he started getting strangled by his backpack strap and uh, he was basically hanging by his neck for four and a half minutes uh -huh. but um, what happened was is because I'm a slackliner, I've been slacklining my whole life, I had the ability to climb up the chairlift tower, go across the, 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 cable. the cable and go down onto his chair, a ski patroller threw me a knife and I caught the knife and cut the strap and cut him down <laughs> and I just... <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I just... You acted on impulse. You did what had to be done. You didn't give it a lot of thought. You just made it happen. Oh, it was one of the... Yeah, it was a moment of flow right? state and yeah. just instincts and stuff. And it was, you know, I was really glad that I was able to utilize, you know, some esoteric slackline skills to help uh, save my friend. And yeah, the story just blew up. You know, next thing I know, <laughs> uh, I was on... Good Morning America, and then eventually the, El awesome. the Ellen Show. Yeah, it was, it was cool meeting Ellen. She's a sweet lady. Very cool for you. <laughs> now let's let's get move forward here. We're at GoPro Mountain Games once again. Slackline has been um, a massive part of the games for a handful of years now, and you've sh kind of shifted the slackline focus from the trick lining to more the high lining aspect this year. Tell us about that. Yeah, so story about the slacklining at the GoPro Mountain Games. Um, in 2011, my father and I were having dinner with uh, Chris Emmer of the Vail Valley Foundation back then, and uh, we had an idea to have slacklining at Solaris. And, and we, we wanted trick lining down here at the, at the bottom and high lining above. And uh, I sent an email to Mike Imhoff, of the, the, you know, the president of the Vail Valley Foundation, yeah. and I got the ball rolling on that. And we got the trick line going right away. You know, we've had the trick line competition here since the 2012 Mountain Games. It's been massive too. <clears throat> it's been massive, massive. And, 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 and you know, really well received, right? Yeah. Um, but this year, uh, VVF gave me the keys. Um, literally, like I'd, be, I'd been here mostly as an athlete, but this year they gave me they gave me the keys and Heather Larson, and together she and I we came up with a new plan, kind of a more um, community-based, open, friendly type of type of event. Um, no trick line competition, but a lot of slack lines for people to try, anybody to try a, a small trick line show, and the new and the newest addition, a high line across Solaris. We're calling it the Skyline. And there's been a a lot of fun stuff happening on that high line. Mm. It's not just cool on one level. Like you had a you had rumbles yesterday where two people get on the line at the same time. Were you up there doing the rumble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was rumbling against my old roommate. That was I was rumbling against my old roommate from Morrison. I used to live with this guy and we, we rumbled against each other. I won. So I'm in I made it through the prelims and today we're having the fi the rumble finals at one PM. <laughs> At 1 p.m., the Royal Rumble is going to go down. Two slackliners mount the line at the same time and try to shake each other off. Are you in the final? Uh, well, I'm in. Well, you're in that. You're in it, that. We, we had we had a bracket of eight. Okay. We eliminated four you're the semis. So now we got four left. We're going to have semis and finals at 1 p.m. today. Who else can we expect up there, real quick? Uh, well, that's it for the official uh, competitions. We had uh, we had some freestyle and some yeah. speed walking in, in the previous days. We're also going to have some shows today. So if you're swinging by, we're going to um, be uh, have, we're going to be having really talented professional slackline athletes putting on uh, shows alongside the you know, above the trick line um, at the same time. So we're going to be having shows. We're also going to be having a clinic. Um, we're having a clinic at 10:30 here. So you can come by before then and sign up for a clinic from professional slackliners to get some professional instruction because it takes a little bit of, yeah. sometimes it can take a little bit of guidance and a, and a helping hand to learn this sport because this sport's hard at first, you know, but anybody can do it. I love it, Mickey. Anybody can do it. And that's what we're trying to share here, you know, the love <laughs> of slacklining and the fact that it's for everybody. The love of slacklining and it's for everybody today here at Solaris for the final day of the 2019 GoPro Mountain Games. Thanks for being here. Hey, my pleasure, Mark. Thank you. Good fun. We'll be right back with more live show from Vail.